Yo! Welcome back to a brand new Craftopia guide. In today's guide, we are going to be talking about how to make griffin wings. Now, as always, if you enjoy this video, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below with any help that you may need in the game, or if you need further help with obtaining griffin wings. But let's do this now there are a few modes of transport in the game some of which you have to throw down and ride and some of which like the glider which we can fly with one of those being the wings the three options we currently have are the glider the wings and the jetpack and when the winter update drops we will also get the trick glider which heals you while gliding but today we are going to be running through exactly how to craft yourself some griffin wings and why you would even want to. We're also going to run through some of the enchants that you want to look out for to make sure that your wings are the best versions you can get. If you head into your workbench and scroll down to flight unit, now I'm on steam so the trick glider is already here. But if you're on console then you won't have that yet, that will come with the winter update as I mentioned earlier. But here we have two sets of wings, one of them is the first set we have to get which which is the griffin wings with fewer feathers. Those wings require 40 griffin feathers and eight logs. We will then use those wings to upgrade to the griffin wings, which require a further 60 griffin feathers, as well as the previous set of wings we made and a further eight logs. So in total, we need 100 griffin feathers to get to the end point, but you may need more because you also want to chase those enchants as well, but we will go through that when we get there. So I'm going to show you two methods to acquire the feathers but realistically choose which one suits you best obviously i don't know your level i don't know your experience with fighting griffins if you've never fought a griffin before then maybe try the first method and then give the second method a go now first of all a lot of people ask me how i'm flying about but i don't have griffin wings on well fortunately for me because i don't particularly like the look of the wings on my back there is an option to display the wings here. So I can select this and my wings have now disappeared. I still have full capability. I can still fly as usual, but they just aren't on my back. Similar with my headgear, I actually have a crown on right now, but you can't see it. I still gain all the effects and it's still technically there. You just can't see it. But let's get started with the easiest method first of all, which is recommended for beginner players really. Now, whether you're a beginner or you've been playing for a long time, one thing that will make this journey a lot easier for you is an indulgence of Anubis. You get this from killing Anubis in hell. I have a guide on my channel if you wish, but farm these scrolls up, get a good amount of them. These allow you to instantly spawn a boss. So rather than waiting for the respawns, you can just keep respawning it and keep farming. This will actually allow you to get multiple kills out of abilities before they hit their cooldown. Some abilities cooldowns can be pretty brutal, so getting the most out of those abilities while they're active is kind of key. But you don't need them, it's just going to make the process faster. But for the purpose of this guide, I will be using them today and I highly recommend looking into them for any boss farming. So head into your altar of transportation and find yourself an island of fallen leaves. Now I highly recommend doing this on an island level 7, but you're going to be pretty safe anyway with the method that I show you. Level 7 will just mean that you get the highest chance of the best drops so travel to the island of fallen leaves and you want to head up to where i am now around this f3 kind of e3 kind of area on the line and as you will see there's a big empty patch right in front of me if you look at it in game it looks suspiciously empty and flat right well that's where the griffin will spawn well up on this little hill here just off to the side if you were to chill up here with a bow and arrow and preferably arrows like a poisonous or a venomous something like that that will allow you to sit in a safe spot and just pick off shots which will allow you to get kills without taking a lot of damage they may aggro you from time to time but you can just get away and as long as you don't go too far you can just get back and continue on that fight and it will just go back to its safe spot and you can just repeat that process until you get the kills this is going to be a bit slow but you will get it and you could get them very early on doing this so I used my indulgence of Anubis to spawn him in and now I'm going to chill back here and I'm just going to take little pop shots find the right spot as soon as I find it and I get that shot, you can see he's just chilling. So I can just pick off shots 
I can just keep going. Now, the reason I said I recommend something like poisonous arrows is because that additional damage is really going to help. Also, if you aim for the headshots as well. So, you can see his health is ticking down. He's not aggroing me. He's chilling. Now, he is going to aggro me now, as you can see. He's just popped that ability. The music is started. So, when he makes his run for it, he's just kind of going to chill, you know. He's not fully aggroing me. So, I can just, I can just float around. And the music stops. Okay, it's still going. It's still going. It's okay. It's okay. He's not going to go far. Look. He's kind of chilling back here. He's not actually doing anything. So I'm going to try to find uh, an angle right now. Where he's not going to aggro me. There we go. As you can see, he's technically fighting me right now. And I'm just, I'm just getting free kills. So you can just keep doing this until you do get those feathers. I don't use range, so I'm actually getting challenges right now, but this is how to do it. Look, the damage you inflict is not important. The amount of arrows you have is what's important. If you can hit high damage, you're not going to need a bunch of arrows. If you don't do a lot, you may need a few hundred arrows, you know. Come prepared. You may be chilling here for a while, but you can just keep picking off these sweet shots. And uh, it's also taking damage from the effect of the arrows as well, whether that be poisonous, venomous, toxic, whatever. Um, I'm currently using venomous, and uh, as you can see, he's getting cooked. Like, I'm not particularly hitting crazy amounts, especially not when I don't get a headshot. But he's already going down, so he's going to die any second now. And there we go. I just got a absolute free kill. And let's go collect our loot. And as you can see, some feathers. We got some gachas. So we just got five griffin feathers, just like that, without engaging at all, without barely moving. We were chilled. Now, the key thing to look at here is the fact that these are Griffin's Griffin Feathers. These ones, the enchants are still pretty good, but they certainly aren't the best. We are actually hoping to find some never-ending Sky Feathers or some enormous Sky Feathers, preferably both. But they come at a lot lower rate. As you can see, we got five here. We may not be so lucky if we got one of those drops, but that's just because the enchants are a lot better. So as you can see, these are my Griffin Wings here and these are the never ending sky enormous sky and these ones have those better enchants than these ones here with just the griffins that's why there is a second method to this where we are going to guarantee ourselves to get those better feathers but it's not necessarily needed if you just want to farm this one and get yourself a set of wings so you can fly go ahead they are still fantastic regardless and you can still get some of the better enchants. It's just less likely. You can also kill this griffin however you want if you want to get up close. However, if you are okay fighting a griffin up close, then I highly recommend doing the second method in this video. And that's what we are going to go and do now. So we're going to head back into our altar of transportation and what we're essentially going to do is we're going to go around all level 7 islands until we find ourselves a royal tomb with a griffin in it. So as you can see I found one on this island and I set it up so I spawn purely to fight that griffin. So I renamed the island to griffin and I'm going to travel there and as you can see I spawn straight here. Right here I have an altar of transportation to go around and I have a spawn point outside this royal tomb. This essentially allows me to forget about the rest of the island. The rest of the island doesn't even exist to me. This is the only reason this island exists to kill griffins. And as you can see I've set up inside here to be rigged up with dash pads allowing me to just dash all the way through to the griffin and engage in the fight now if it's your first time going through you may not have it set up like this so you have to clear the dungeon on your way through but once you spot a griffin in the back like so head back out the front set up that spawn system and there you go you've now got a griffin farm now again your indulgence of anubis will come in handy here and also so will sin potions which you can also get from anubis these just increase the drops and will be highly recommended but you definitely don't need them so i'm gonna go ahead and kill this griffin so i'm gonna pop all my buffs right now and i'm gonna head in there and uh do some business right now let's go okay what up buddy good to see you good to see you it's been a while it's been a while but let's do this let's start flying already come on okay so there we go let's see what we got from him so 
we got some feathers again as you can see and there we go look at these ones these ones are great so this time we got the protector of the golds the never-ending sky now the protector of the golds is a new enchant but those are some never-ending sky griffin feathers great that's exactly what we want so we've already got a bunch so now we're going to respawn him and we're going to repeat that process let's go okay so let's kill him off and this time oh two a double feather drop let's go so whole bo oh my god we just got loads we just got loads so as you can see we just got 22 never ending sky griffin feathers we got two of the other ones and we got five of the griffin ones so a whole bunch there that's great we need a hundred in total so we're just going to keep repeating this process until we have a hundred feathers so we got our hundred feathers and we've got our logs let's go in and we can select the griffin wings with fewer feathers and as you can see we have the required feathers but we're going to first head into details of enchanting chance and we're going to take a look at what we can get now we do want the never ending sky but we want to mix them with the enormous sky as well so if you've got some of them then this is where you want to be looking now as i said this one here please ignore it if you're on console if you're on steam i mean it's pretty good we can also get it stacked into our wings as well so we can now go to a three or four enchanted wing set but never ending sky enormous wings whatever you want to do take a look at the enchanting chart pick out which ones you want and again you can include your logs in there if you wish but go ahead and craft yourself some griffin wings so i'm going to make the ones with the fewer wings first there we go i've just got griffins the never ending sky and then i'm going to go in again select the wings that we want the actual griffin wings which requires another 60 griffin feathers the wings we just made and a further eight logs so let's craft them and there we go we now have the never ending sky griffin wings so why you would want the griffin wings first of all the enchants are great especially if you build magic if your build is magic based similar to how mine is wings are amazing it's the reason i've never moved on to a jetpack jetpacks have some great enchants but i personally prefer wings especially for my personal build but they're just awesome so as you can see they use stamina with flying and it does go down fairly quick but with console currently as i mentioned in one of my recent videos you have to tap every time you want your wings to flap so you essentially fly like this right and you spam it if you want to get some more height but with the winter update, we now just hold it. So you jump, jump again and hold it. And there you go. You just fly off. Now, this is great. The stamina does go down quick, but I personally really like the wings. You can also do a really cool kind of movement with it where you essentially jump and then you crouch, jump, crouch, jump, crouch. And you actually get a slight launch, which allows you to travel around nice and quick. Now, there is a few other cheeky tricks that you can do with wings and the dash ability, for example. But they will be patched soon, if not already been patched. So I'm not going to go into that. This is just a cool new way of movement and it will get you around very fast. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below if any help that you may need in the game or any further assistance that you need with obtaining the wings choose whichever method is better for you the first method which will allow you to safe spot it or the second method where you're just gonna fry it repeatedly which may be better if you do output high amount of damage join our discord the link will be down in the description below we're closing in on 500 members and it would be awesome to have you as part of that we are the most active craftopia community by a mile and it'd be awesome to have every single one of you as part of that but most importantly enjoy the rest of your day stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace